for some spectacular snowmobiling. But in Westbrook, one of the town's most popular trails may be forced to shut down as early as next week. And that has members of the local club, which maintains the trail, furious. New at 6, News 8, Steve Minnick has the details of this controversy, which is pitting snowmobilers against the state's Department of Transportation. Steve? Well, Tracy, last June, voters across the state approved a $5 million bond to begin restoring rail service between Portland and Freiburg. But the rail bed happens to be the popular snowmobile trail, which the Westbrook Club has maintained for the past five years. Michael Tavanian is very proud of this trail, which he and his club created and groomed daily. A 35-mile stretch connecting Westbrook to Wyndham, Gorham, Buxton, and beyond. People are using the system right now for other purposes, so why take away a, a purpose for it to add no purpose to it? Club members admit they knew this day could ultimately arrive, but assumed at least not until the end of this winter. They say they were stunned to learn the rail construction could begin as early as next week. These stakes, we were grooming a week of ten, 10 days or so ago, and we see a bunch of stakes along the railroad bed, and we're saying to ourselves, why are they driving stakes? Why are they spraying paint, paint, uh, paint in the snow bankings? That would never last till springtime. As approved by voters, the new tracks will be laid from Westbrook to Wyndham. According to the DOT, the Snowmobile Club is a tenant at will and has always known the trail remains an active rail line which the Department of Transportation controls. However, the DOT has asked the contractor to delay construction work to extend the snowmobile season. They did not know they were voting for this. That is, there's no way. The club has already sent Governor LePage a letter asking him to intervene. Convinced if people realized the consequence of their vote, they would never have approved the referendum. And when you did that, you were shutting down the use of your cross-country skiing, your snowmobiling, your snowshoeing, your biking and your hiking that you've been doing all this. Did you know that? If they knew that, they certainly would not do that. And here is a copy of the four-page letter the club has sent to Governor LePage. Among other points, it questions the potential and feasibility of a rail line compared to the recreational use already in place. In the newsroom, Steve Minnick, News 8.